Wonderful. Hare Krishna, good afternoon and welcome. Hare Krishna, добро всем дня, добро пожаловать. We're reading Chaitanya Bhagavat. Мы читаем Chaitanya Bhagavat. And we are on chapter two of the Antikanda. Amazing Adi Adi Kanda Adi Kanda. And uh, a few days ago, or yesterday maybe, Vrindavan Das Thakur, he asked a question. He said, who has the ability to know why Krishna Chandra incarnates? And he's, he's phrasing that in relation relationship to Lord Chaitanya's appearance. So then he says, still, I'm giving whatever reasons are described in the Bhagavad Gita and the Srimad Bhagavatam. <coughs> so yesterday he uh, gave a purport, or he, he cited Yada yada hi dharma sya glanir bhavadi bharata abhuta nama dharma sya tadatmanam shri janyaham. And, uh, and then he, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, he gave purports, and the, the purport, and the purport is basically citing different acharyas and their commentaries on this verse. И он привел этот стих из Бхагавад Гиты, и затем Бхакти Сиданта Сарасвати дает комментарий, в котором он, по сути, цитирует uh, комментарии разных ачарьев на тот стих. And first he says, uh, he quotes, he cites, I invent myself, and there he says that, that he manifests uh, to bewilder the demons. И там он цитирует, я не схожу сам, и говорит, что он uh, не сходит, чтобы ввести в заблуждение демонов. He said, I manifest in this world like a created being under the influence of the material nature just to bewilder the demons. And that's from Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur Sarartha Darshani. And then he... Uh, he speaks from Baladevi Bhushan and then he speaks from Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Now I'm not sure if we read all of Bhaktivinoda's commentary yesterday. But uh, we will read it now. So this is text 17. You got it? Seventeen, the last paragraph. Mm -hmm. Very interesting what Srila Bhaktivinoda will say here. The only injunction govern governing my appearance is that I am independent, so I appear whenever I desire. So that's a uh, that's a principle that's presented in the beginning of the Bhagavatam. Krishna knows everything. And he's independent. He's the cause of all causes. He's, uh, there's no cause beyond Krishna. So he says the only thing you know, governing my appearance in the world is that I'm independent and I come when I want to come. <coughs> Whenever there is a decline in religious principles and a predominant rise of irreligion, at that time I descend by my own sweet will. Происходит упад религиозных принципов, упадок религиозных принципов и воцаряется безбожие. В это время я не схожу по своей собственной доброй воле. 
The regulations that govern the many universes are beginningless. Uh, but when in due course of time these regulations become defective by some undetermined cause, irreligious, irreligiosity becomes prominent. No. Со временем, когда эти uh, предписания uh, портятся по непонятной причине, uh, про, uh, как бы безбожие становится, пре, начинает преобладать. So be mindful that this is Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur um, expressing the mood of Krishna. Many times we see our great acharyas do this. They, they say perhaps Krishna is thinking in this way or Krishna, Krishna is thinking in this way. Or we can see at different times Srila Bishwanath constructing conversations between Krishna and the gopis in the Bhagavatam. Or according to my remembrance is the comment that Krishna makes in Bhagavad Gita, he tells Arjun, declare it to the world, my devotee is never vanquished. And then Srila Vishwanathi reads into that. And Vishwanath says, but Arjun says, why should I declare it to the world? Because you're the original Supreme Personality of Godhead. Почему, то есть, и Вишанат Чикраварти описывает, что якобы Арджуна говорит, что почему я должен говорить, ты же, ты же Верховная Личность Бога. He says, people will have the tendency to listen to you. У всех же, у людей есть склонность слушать тебя. And Krishna, he gives a comment, he says, but I'm from Vrindavan, and people don't trust the words of the people from Vrindavan. Но Кришна отвечает ему, но я же из Вриндавана, а люди не доверяют словам тех, кто из Вриндавана. And that's still the same to today. Okay. So he says he says that the regulations that govern the entire universe are beginningless. But in due course of time, these regulations become defective by some undetermined cause, then irreligiosity becomes prominent. And no one is able to counteract this situation other than myself. Therefore, I appear in the material world along with my internal potencies in order to destroy irreligious principles. And it is not that I appear only in the land of Bharat Varsha. But according to the need I also appear amongst the demigods in the lower species. So Krishna again is saying, because I'm independent, it's not only that I have to appear in Bharat Varsha. I can appear anywhere. And sometimes I appear uh, amongst the demigods and I appear amongst the lower species. He says, so do not think that I do not appear among the malechas and other low-born human beings. 
среди млечь и других низкорожденных людей. I also appear amongst them as a Shaktyavesh avatar or an empowered incarnation to protect them and whatever little religious principles those impure persons follow. To protect them and whatever little religious principles those people follow. Я также являюсь среди них как шахтиавеша аватара или уполномоченное воплощение, чтобы защитить их и те скудные религиозные принципы, которые следуют эти нечистые люди. So шахтиавеша аватар is empowered by the Lord. Шахтиавеша аватара она уполномочена Господом. They can be a jiva who is empowered with the shakti of the Lord to perform the work of the Lord. And when I hear this, I can't help but think about our Srila Prabhupada. He says, he says, I appear among them as an empowered incarnation to protect them and to protect whatever little religious principles these impure people follow. And then he says, yet I am more anxious to appear amongst my dependents in India because Varnashram Dharma is followed there without obstruction. Тем не менее, я, мне больше хочется явиться среди тех, кто зависит от меня в Индии, потому что а, там Варнашами, Варнашам Адхарми следует без а, нарушений. Now, at this point, we're not going to go off on a diversion on Varnashram Dharma. И вот в этот момент мы не будем отклоняться в сторону Варнашама Дарма. If you'd like to speak about Varnashram, it's better to speak to His Holiness Shivam Sai Maharaj. Если вы хотите обсудить Варнашама, лучше поговорите с Его Святым Шрила Шварам Сай Махараджа. But here, you know, he makes an interesting point. Но здесь он делает интересное утверждение. He says, I, I am anxious to appear upon my dependents in India because Varnashram Dharma is being followed there without obstruction. And again, that makes us think of Srila Prabhupada. Be because Srila Prabhupada in the last year of his life, well, throughout the course of his life, naturally he, he spoke about Varnashram Dharma. На протяжении своей жизни он, естественно, говорил о нашем Адхарме. But in the final year of his life, he kept bringing this point up time and time again. Но в последние дни своей жизни он вновь и вновь поднимал эту тему. Particularly around March, March or April uh, 1977 when he was in Mayapur. В особенности в марте или апреле 77 -го года, когда он был в Майпуре. And it's approximately at that time when Srila Prabhupada said, I've completed only half my mission. И именно тогда он и сказал, что он закончил лишь 50% своей миссии. I've, I've spread the holy name. Я распространил свое имя. I've distributed Bhagavad Gita. Я распространил Бхагавад Гиту. I've established temples. Я открыл храмы. Established deities. I've given Bhagavatam. He said, but I haven't established uh, Varnashram Dharma. And, you know, devotees were asking Srila Prabhupada, is there really importance, you know, amongst the Vaishnavas to establish this Varnashram Dharma? И преданные спрашивали Шилу Прабхупада, действительно ли это важно для преданных установить Варнашу Мадарму? And he said yes. И он сказал да. And he said, um, he said, because we can see that many devotees are not acting according to their nature. 
Потому что я, он сказал, потому что я могу видеть, что многие преданные не действуют в соответствии со своей природой. And for that reason, they're falling down from their vows. И по этой причине они нарушают свои обеты. And I think it was Hari Shori Prabhu who kept pushing Srila Prabhupada on this point in Mayapur. И по-моему это Hari Shori Prabhu, он продолжал Srila Prabhupada по этой теме. Prabhupada said, but they are falling down. So there needs to be a proper social system for the devotees to follow. And if we're going to have a social system, we don't have to recreate the wheel. And we don't have to do something that's, you know, socially pleasing to the Western world. But rather we follow the social system that Lord Krishna himself establishes in Bhagavad Gita. Но вместо этого мы можем следовать социальной системе, которую сам Господь Кришна устанавливает в благодатите. And then when people are situated properly according to the natural law, laws of dharma that the Lord has created, then we can see society moving in a peaceful way. И если люди будут за ним э, находиться в правильном положении, в той социальной системе, которая была создана Кришной, то мы можем видеть, что общество будет движеться. When you don't have things like COVID-19 pandemics, where you don't have uh, so many irregular activities taking, po taking place in human society, improper activities taking place in human society. Then, Srila Bhaktivinoda says, speaking on behalf of Krishna. Therefore, all the pleasing Yuga avatars and Amsha avatars are found only in the land of Bharatvarsha. Поэтому все приятные юга аватары и амша аватары можно обнаружить, обнаружить только на земле Барата Ваш. So he says I can appear as a Shaktivesh avatar anywhere in the world. Он говорит, что я могу явиться в качестве Шактивеш аватара где угодно в мире. And I can uplift those fallen people. Я могу поднять этих, возвысить этих ваших людей. And I can protect whatever religious principles they follow. Я могу защитить те религиозные принципы, которым они следуют. But I like to manifest in India. Но нравится мне проявляться в Индии. Because Varnashram Dharma is followed. Потому что там следует Варнашрам Дарма. And for that reason, he says, he says that, uh, he says that the Yuga avatars and the Anksha avatars only appear in Bharatvarsha. Поэтому, говорит он, Yuga avatars и Anksha avatars являются только Activities performed without fruitive desire, Nishkam Karma Yoga. Philosophical speculation, Gyan Yoga. And the ultimate process of devotional service, Bhakti Yoga. Are not properly practiced where there is no practice of Varnashram Dharma. Не практикуется должным образом там, где не практикуется Варнашма Дарма. When I read this, when I reread it this afternoon, I was very impressed by that statement. Когда я это прочитал, и потом прочитал еще раз сегодня днем, я был очень удивлен, поражен этим высказыванием. And I was thinking to send this excerpt to uh, Shira Maharaj, although he's probably already read it. Я захотел послать эту выдержку so he says, Nishkam Karma Yoga, Gyan Yoga, and Bhakti Yoga cannot be practiced properly where people are not following Varnashram Dharma. So he says, Nishkam Karma Yoga, Gyan Yoga, and Bhakti Yoga cannot be practiced properly where people are not following Varnashram Dharma. 
правильно должным образом исполняться там, где не, не практикуют ваш наш мудар. So it appears that there is a necessity for some serious thought on this subject matter. Поэтому похоже, что ты пища для серьезных размышлений на эту тему. But know for certain that the traces of devotion found amongst the low-born humans are due to only one thing, and that is the mercy of the devotees. Again, back to that instance with Srila Prabhupada. The devotee was speaking to Prabhupada. What type of pious activity did I perform to, you know, be a part of ISKCON and to have your association service? And Prabhupada said, you've done nothing pious. He said, but your fortune has, you know, been created by myself. <coughs> so Srila Bhaktivinod concludes on this point. But know for certain that any trace of devotion is only due to the mercy of devotees. So that's from Srila Bhaktivinoda's Vidvad Ranjana commentary. <coughs> now the next verse we'll read. Paritranaya sadhunam binasha chaduskritam dharma samstapanartaya samavani yuge yuge. To deliver the pious and to annihilate the miscreants as well as to reestablish the principles of religion. I myself appear, millennium after millennium. Now I think we read through here yesterday also. Yeah. But I would like to go over some points again. Um, I think we read Paritanaya Sadhunam Binashya Chaduskritam and then Dharma and we discussed Dharma and then Samstapana. And uh, it's pay it's text eighteen uh, one to third paragraph and he says <coughs> huh? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We read the whole thing. Yeah, but I think we don't read Bhaktivinoda Okay, I just want to re We read through here, but we didn't read Bhaktivinoda yesterday. But I just want to explain Baladev's explanation of the word samstarpana in that verse. He said samstarpana means preaching properly. These three purposes are the cause of the Lord's appearance. To protect, you know, the devotees from that anxiety that they're feeling to meet Him. And to, you know, chastise the miscreants and ultimately give them mercy. And then Dharma to present the uh, teachings of the Lord to people in human society. And then Samstapana to preach. So now we'll read Srila Bhaktivinoda's comment on this. And again he's speaking on Varnashram Dharma. And he's speaking, he's speaking on behalf of Krishna here. He's paraphrasing Krishna's ideas and thoughts. 
Он опять говорит от отца Кришны, э, перефразируя его слова и мысли. I establish Varnashram Dharma by appearing as an empowered incarnation among my devotees who are sages amongst the Brahmins and the kings. Я устанавливаю Варнашрама Дхарму, являясь как уполномоченное воплощение среди моих преданных, которые являются мудрецами среди Браманов и царей. But actually I appear to deliver my great devotees who are afflicted by the distress born of intense longing to see me. На самом деле я являюсь, чтобы освободить моих великих преданных, которые охвачены страданиями, рожденными из сильного желания или стремления видеть меня. So he says, I have, uh, you know, I appear for these two reasons. Он говорит, я являюсь по этим двум причинам. I present Varnashram Dharma as an empowered uh, incarnation amongst my devotees. And also I appear for the great devotees who are feeling that distress and intense longing to come to me. Thus, in the form of a Yuga avatar, I deliver my devotees from this distress and I deliver demons like Ravana and Kamsa by killing them. I re-establish the living entity's eternal religious principles by preaching the devotional service, the devotional processes like hearing and chanting. When I say I appear in every millennium, it is to be accepted that I also appear in the age of Kali. Когда я говорю, что я являюсь в каждом веке, это следует понимать, что я также являюсь и в век Кали. The incarnation for Kali Yuga will distribute the rarely attained benediction of love of God through the process of chanting. Воплощение для Кали Юги будет распространять редко достижимое благословение любви к Богу посредством процесса воспевания. Although this incarnation is the best of all, he is hidden to the common person. So, in the Vedas, the Lord is described as Triyugi, tri or Triyuga. It means He appears in three Yugas. But then what about Kali Yuga? And here He's saying, yes, I appear in Kali Yuga also, but I am a covered incarnation. It's called Chana Avatar. And the reason he is covered is because he comes to present the most confidential understanding of all the Vedic literatures. And he comes to distribute the most uh, rarely attained gift of love of God through the chanting of the holy names. So Srila Bhakti Vinod says, although he's the best of all of the incarnations, he's the most hidden. И Бхактинат поэтому говорит, что несмотря на то, что он лучший из всех воплощений, он является скрытым. And we can see that even in the life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Можем это видеть в жизни Чайтани Махапрабху. He didn't reveal his divinity until he began the Sankirtan mission. Он не раскрывал свою божественность до того момента, как он начал движение Санкиртана. And if we observe the situation of the world today and people who are interested in, in Indian spirituality, you know, not a lot of people 
knows so much about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Если мы посмотрим на современный мир, на людей, которые интересуются духовностью, как ее представляют в Индии, можем увидеть, что немногие, очень немногие интересуются читанием Махапрабху. But according to the Vedas, he is the incarnation for this age. Но в соответствии с Ведом он является воплощением этого века. Bhaktivinoda continues. Bhaktivinoda продолжает. Uh, you also, oh, he says, my my great devotees will naturally be attracted by this incarnation. You also, O oh Arjun, can see this incarnation when you appear as his assistant. So it's been described, I think, in Chaitanya Chaitanya the Ramananda Roy is a partial incarnation of Arjuna. He's saying, Arjuna, you just wait to Kali Yuga. And you will see the special form of my incarnation as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The great mystery of this confidential incarnation for Kali Yuga is that he will destroy only the sinful mentality of the demons, not the demons themselves. So that's a very beautiful point. In different ages, the Lord appeared uh, in his different avatars and he used great force to kill the demons. As Narasimha Dev, he killed Hiranyakasipu. As Lord Baraha, he killed Hiranyaksha. He said, you know, very powerful ways. And Krishna, he kept Sudarshan Chakra. And also he, you know, he and Balaram, they, they uh, destroyed demons in other ways here in Vrindavan. But the special beauty of the incarnation for Kali Yuga is that he doesn't kill the demon, but he kills the demonic mentality. And that is the power of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. You know, by bhakti, the heart becomes fully changed. By bhakti, the inauspicious qualities that are present within the heart, they're uprooted. <coughs> and then a devotee becomes situated in goodness. So there's a difference between Lord Chaitanya and the other incarnations. <coughs> then Vrindavan Dastakur says, whenever there is a decline in religious principles and irreligion becomes more prominent day by day, at that time, the demigods, headed by Brahma, pray at the feet of the Lord to protect the sadhus and destroy the miscreants. Can you go close the gate and then close this door? Slight pause here. Everything is very peaceful in Vrindavan, but um, 
the caretakers at this ashram behind our place, which is, is a guest house, it's not an ashram, but they have to create some very loud drama every afternoon. No. Люди, которые поддерживают uh, guest house или гостиницу, которая за, находится по соседству с нашим домом, каждый день во второй половине дня они устраивают очень громкий спектакль, чтобы доставить беспокойство. And it got to the point yesterday afternoon where I requested my respected neighbor Balaram Baba to call the police. И вчера дошло до того, что я был вынужден попросить моего уважаемого соседа Баларам Бабу so it appears that this afternoon's episode of the drama is beginning. Okay. When the living entities who are averse to the Lord remain in the midst of temporary sense enjoyment, their material conceptions gradually increase. Когда живые существа, которые враждебны Господу, а, оста... находятся посреди временных чувственных наслаждений, их материальные концепции постепенно увеличиваются. From Satya to Treta to Dvorpa Yuga, religious principles gradually, gradually diminish. Yeah. Both devices are working? Sorry that we went down. Uh, some internet problems over here. We had uh, we had an Apple router for a number of years. And we know the router died a few nights ago. And then we got another router. But we're having situations, sometimes internet, sometimes no internet. So just on that point, devotees are always feeling compassion. And Srila Bhakti Vinod, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, he states, he says, the mental speculators consider themselves rich and powerful because of different points. And he says, he says, on the power of the next five points, this is why people consider themselves to be something special in this world. Он говорит, из-за вот следующих пяти моментов люди считают себя чем-то особенным в этом мире. First point is gambling. Первое – это азартные игры. Second point is drinking. Второй момент – это употребление алкоголя. Third point is illicit sex. Третий момент – незаконный секс. Fourth point is animal slaughter. Четвертый момент – это убийство животных. And the fifth point is gold. И пятый момент – это золото. Thus, they attempt to attack the Absolute Truth, who descends for the eternal benefit of the living entities. So in order to check such endeavors of the mental speculators and make them slip from their path, the unlimitedly powerful destroyer of nescience and the bewilderer of the demons, the supreme absolute truth, Lord Vishnu, incarnates. Чтобы <coughs> прекратить эти попытки умственных мыслителей и заставить их сойти с этого пути, в высшей степени могущественный уничтожитель, не, разрушитель невежества, и тот, кто вводит заблуждение демонов, верховная абсолютная истина Господь Вишну воплощается. In this way, Lord Brahma offers prayers at the lotus feet of the Lord in every millennium. Таким образом, Господь Брама предлагает молитвы в лотосных стоп Господа каждое эпоху. Text 21. Text 21. The Lord then appears in the material world 
with his associates and paraphernalia in order to reestablish the principles of religion. Господь затем является в, этот, в этом материальном мире со своими спутниками и парафернальями, чтобы восстановить принцип религии. And text 22. The religious principle for the age of Kali is the congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Sri Satchinandan incarnates to establish these principles. Religiously principle для века Kali это совместное воспевание святых имен Господа. Okay, so why he appears has been discussed and, and now establishing the religious principle, he's going into this. The religious principle for the age of Kali is the congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Sri Sachinandan incarnates to establish this principle. Religiously principle for the age of Kali is the совместное воспевание святых имен Господа, and Sri Shishnanda является, чтобы установить этот принцип. Kali Yuga, Kali Yuge, Dharma, Hoy, Hari Sankirtan, Etad Arte, Avatirna, Sri Sachinanda. The living entities are delivered by the process of meditation in Sati Yuga, fire sacrifice in Treta Yuga, worship of the Lord in Dwarpa Yuga and the congregational chanting of Lord Hari's names in Kali Yuga. Живые существа получают освобождение благодаря процессу медитации в Сати Югу, благодаря огненным жертвоприношениям в Трета Югу, благодаря поклонению Господу в Два Пара Югу и благодаря совместному успеванию имен Господа Хари в Кали Югу. Lord Sri Satchinandan appeared in this world to propagate the congregational chanting. Господь Шишачинанда наявляется в этом мире, чтобы распространять это совместное воспевание. It is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam that the Supreme Absolute Truth, Lord Gorachandra, incarnates to propagate the chanting of the holy names. В Шримад Бхагаватам утверждается, что Верховная Абсолютная Истина, Господь Гаврачандра, является, чтобы распространять воспевание святых имен. So now Vrindavan Das is going to give a uh, Shastric reference to that. The people of this age of Kali are engaged in arguments that result in various quarrels. In order to benefit these people, Sri Gaurasundar propagated the congregational chanting of the Lord's holy name which is the supreme absolute truth, the destroyer of illusion, the form of eternity, knowledge, and bliss. Чтобы даровать благо этим людям, Шри Гаврасундра распространяет или проповедует совместное воспевание святых имен Господа, который является высшей абсолютной истиной, который уничтожает всю иллюзию, и он является формой вечности, знания и блаженства. In text 24. O King, in this way, people in Dwarpa Yuga glorified the Lord of the Universe. In Kali Yuga, also people worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead by following various regulations of the revealed scriptures. Now kindly hear of this from me. В Кали-Югу люди также поклоняются Верховной Личности Бога, следуя различным предписаниям э, Богооткровенных Писаний. Услышь теперь, пожалуйста, об этом от меня. You know, I'm, I'm thinking this last purport is that people in the age of Kali are engaged in arguments that result in various quarrels. Я вот думаю, здесь в комментарии в предыдущем говорится, что люди века Кали занимаются спорами, которые приводят к различной вражде. Like behind us, the people that are caring for that ashram, they're quarreling with one another. Вот как там позади моего дома люди, которые присматривают за этим ашрамом, они ссорятся друг с другом. Arguments and screaming quarrel. Они спорят и кричат 
Yesterday, everybody in our neighborhood was out there trying to calm the situation down. And the police came, trying to calm the situation down. But because, you know, one of the individuals had lost his mind, he just wanted to continue quarreling and fighting. Но из-за того, что у одного из участников цветения катушки, он продолжал ссориться и спорить. And it reminds me of one time, many years ago, when we were having some difficulties in Kazakhstan. И это мне напоминает, как несколько лет назад у нас были сложности в Казахстане. I was taking some advice from one elderly gentleman. И я попросил совета у одного пожилого джентльмена. And he told me, he said, he said, if the situation is like fire, he said, don't put more fuel to it. Он мне сказал, что если ситуация пожар, то не надо туда подбрасывать топливо. Rather try to extinguish the fire. Вместо этого постарайся потушить пожар. People can't be happy when they're living in fire. Люди не могут быть счастливы, если они живут в огне. And uh, and we can see that that in the past, it's like the leaders, like in the Vedic age, the leaders there, they were so they were so qualified as leaders, and they were such spiritual personalities. That they wisely understood how to pacify people. Мы можем видеть, что в прошлом ведические времена те, кто те, кто являлись лидерами, они были настолько квалифицированы и мудры, что они знали, как успокоить людей. And we look at the quality of some of the leaders of the world today. Если посмотреть на качество современных лидеров, they're simply impelled by arrogance and pride and conceit. Они просто исполнены гордыни, тщеславия и обмана. Only interested in you know marketing themselves as you know the greatest of individuals and not being concerned for the people that they're supposed to be taken care of. И они заинтересованы или они занимаются лишь только тем, чтобы представить себя как великих личностей и даже не заботиться о тех людях, даже не переживают о том, чтобы позаботиться о тех людях, о которых они должны бы заботиться. And consequently, instead of giving reassurance to the people they're taking care of, they only create division. И вместо того, чтобы получать поддержку, Тех людей, о которых они должны заботиться, они лишь uh, соверш... uh, разделяют их. And oftentimes the mind wanders. Очень часто ум отвлекается. You know, what to do to remedy situations like this. Что же сделать, чтобы исправить такую ситуацию? But there's only one thing that can remedy situations like this. И такую ситуацию может исправить только одна вещь. And that's the congregational chanting of the holy name of the Lord. That's all that can be done. People can quarrel and people can fight and people can, you know, have such heightened emotions and feelings of nationalism and so many feelings. But the only thing that's going to bring down the fire so people can live peacefully is the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. То есть люди, они могут ссориться, воевать, сражаться, они могут проявлять какие-то возвышенные эмоции, типа национализма, но единственное, что может потушить этот пожар и сбить всю эту спесь, это совместное сравнение с их именем Окей, мы будем остановиться сегодня. На этом мы на сегодня остановимся. What time is it? Five oh seven. Everybody chant the holy names of the Lord. 
We have this crisis coming down around us in the world. Chant the holy names of the Lord. We have uh, leaders in many places who are making mistakes. Chant the holy names of the Lord. Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Eva Kiyolam. This is the only way. Let me see. Help the world situation by becoming absorbed in Harinam. Okay, thank you all very much. Uh, thank you for joining us. And we announced this morning that tomorrow we're going to have Kirtan at 7 o'clock. Uh, Indian time. So, so we will try our best and we hope that we'll have good internet so that we can do this. And then after Kirtan, then we'll do Japa together. And tomorrow is Thursday. Okay. So tomorrow, 7 a.m. Kirtan, 8 a.m. Japa, and 4 in the afternoon, we'll be having uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat. Everybody stay safe. Stay inside your home. Only go out for, you know, essential activity. It's not over yet. We should just be very patient and uh, work together to see through this pandemic. Thank you all very much. Now we'll show you the deities for those people who are not here this morning. Hare Krishna. Also, if anybody would like to somehow or other send us the best uh, Wi-Fi router in the world, we will gladly receive that. Here's Giriraj. Jai Giriraj Maharaj Ki Jai. Giriraj Maharaj Ki. Giriraj Maharaj Ki. Here's Giriraj. This is Giriraj. Our Radha Govinda today. Is this Radha Govinda? Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe You can see the heat's coming back because the garlands are wilting. You can see the beautiful outfit they're wearing today. In the beautiful embroidery. And here is Govinda. This Govinda. Ji Govinda. Lotus feet of Govinda. And here is Radesham. And here is 
What's this? Gopal Kurma and Narsingadev. And behind is Krishna and Balaram. Krishna and Balaram. Behind is Haridas Sabarjo. And here this. are Dayanatai Gora Chandra. Hey, Golokananda, how are you? Haribo, Radha Krishna. Jai Sri Sachinanana Ki. Hey, Sandipan, how are you? Nuresh, Hare Krishna. And here is Lord Nityananda. What is Lord Nityananda? Jai Nitai. And here is Patit Pavan. And here is Patit Pavan. Sanjivani, Hare Krishna. And Panchatattva. Panchatattva. And Shad Goswami. Shad Goswami. And Srila Prabhupada. Okay, thank you all very much. I will Krishna Swarup. We'll see everybody tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Vrindavan time for Kirtan. Sanjivani, get up early. Golokananda, get up early. Participate in Kirtan with us. That's an embroidered dress. JJ Shirade. Shah.